Third Way Intermediate, Fourth Edition, by John and Liz Sauls, published in copyright, Oxford University Press, 2009. CD3. Unit 11, Tape Script 11.1. Optical Illusions. How many colours can you see? Uh, three, if you don't include white. Uh, green, pink and red. Yeah, no, look again, there's only two. Pink and green. When the pink's next to the green, it looks red. Really? I don't think so. They can't be the same colour. Well, uh, maybe. What about this one, the girl? That must be a candlestick in front of her face. Yes, you can see one girl behind a candlestick or two girls looking at each other. Oh, yes! Amazing! Three girls, then. <laughs> and that one, it looks like a man playing the saxophone. Or another girl. Look, in the shadows. Oh, yes! I can see her now. She's wearing a hat and lipstick. Hmm, do you think so? Mm -hmm. Can you see any more people? Yes, that looks like someone wearing glasses. And that one is an old lady. And I'm not sure, but I think she might be wearing a feather in her hat. I can also see a young lady with a feather and a fur coat. <laughs> And I can see the word liar. Really? Mm -hmm. I can't see either of those. <laughs> OK, try this. Count the legs on that elephant. One, two, three... Oh, it can't have five legs. <laughs> That's a clever drawing. So is that one. It could be a duck or a rabbit. It depends how you look at it. Mm -hmm. The square looks strange, don't you think? Yeah, it looks wobbly, like a jelly. Mm, but the lines are all straight and parallel. No, they can't be. Well, they are. If you look line by line, you'll see. I suppose the dots must be creating the illusion. Mm. And the last one, which line's longer? Well, the one on the left must be longer. Get your ruler and measure. Ah, oh, they're the same size. Of course, I should have known. Interesting, isn't it? <laughs> the tricks your eyes can play. <laughs> Tape script 11.2. Fact or fiction? 1. Lightning never strikes in the same place twice. This is completely untrue. Lightning often strikes in the same place over and over again. High trees, tall buildings, mountaintops. In fact, the purpose of lightning conductors is to be struck time and time again. 2. Hurricanes always have ladies' names. This used to be true. From 1953 to 1979, only female names were used, but now both men's and women's names are used. One name for each letter of the alphabet. The same lists are reused every six years. These are the first six names for 2012. Alberto, Beryl, Chris, Debbie, Ernesto, Florence. 3. Women have a higher pain threshold than men. Some research suggests the opposite. But most people still believe this to be true, because women have to give birth. We will never know how men would cope with this experience. 4. The sea is blue because it reflects the sky. This is true in a way. The white light from the sun is a mixture of all the colours of the rainbow, but the air reflects blue light more than other colours. So we see a blue sky. Then, when the sky is brilliant blue, the sea is also, because the water reflects the blue of the sky. 5. 
A penny dropped from a skyscraper can kill a person. Not true. It might give you a cut or a bruise, but it's not likely to kill you. Six. Hair and nails continue to grow after death. Not true. This is an optical illusion. After death, the body quickly dehydrates and the skin shrinks, which gives the illusion that both nails and hair are still growing. Seven. Birds are bird-brained and stupid. Not true. Some birds are the cleverest animals known to science. For example, crows are smarter than chimpanzees, and some parrots don't just mimic but understand human speech. Eight. No two snowflakes are the same. This could be true. No one has yet found two identical snowflakes, but out of all the zillions that fall, it is likely that two may be the same. Nine, bats are blind. Not true. Bats have excellent eyesight. People think they must be blind because they have a sound radar, which means they can hunt insects at night. But it doesn't mean that they can't see. Tape script eleven point three, one. I think I've lost my passport. You must be very worried. Two. Your phone's ringing. It might be Jane. Three. Paul's taking his umbrella. It must be raining. Four. Harry and Sally never go on holiday. They can't have much money. Five. Hannah's not in class. She could be in the coffee bar. Six. Look, three fire engines. There must be a fire somewhere. Seven. Tom hasn't seen Zoe for ages. They can't be going out together anymore. Eight. Whose jacket is this? It might be John's. Nine. You got top marks in the test. <laughs> you must be joking. Tape script eleven point four. What are they talking about? One. A glass of white wine and a mineral water, please. Still or sparkling? Uh, sparkling, please. Do you want ice and lemon with that? Just ice, thanks. How much is that? Two. I can't believe it. My screen's frozen again. Unplug it and take the battery out. Then start it up again. That sometimes works for me. Okay. Here goes. Three. So how did it go? Not too bad, thanks. Were you very nervous? Yeah. But I tried not to show it. Oh, when will you hear? In a couple of days. They said they'd phone me at the end of the week and let me know if I'd got it. Four. Have you any idea what to get them? Not really, but it should be something special. Yeah, twenty-five years is a long time. It would be nice to get something silver. Yeah. Why don't we club together and get something from both of us? Then we can afford something really nice. Good idea. Mum and Dad would love that. Five. Do you come here a lot? What? I said, do you often come here? Yeah, me and my friends come every Saturday night. Is this your first time? Yeah, here. We usually go clubbing at the Zanzibar. Wow, I've heard the Zanzibar's legend. Yeah. How do you like to try it with me next Saturday? Tape script eleven point five. What on earth has happened? Hello. Oh, hi, Christina. What on earth's wrong? Tell me. Oh no, that's terrible. 
When? Oh, they must have known no one was at home. What did they take? Had you saved everything? Thank goodness. What else is missing? Oh, not your camera. Well, at least you still have your photos. Oh, and Ella's expensive leather jacket. Does she know? Oh, she's going to get such a shock when she gets back. And she's got her final exam soon. Yeah, that's good. I know she always takes it with her to lectures. Have you called the police? Good. Have they any idea who might have done it? So it wasn't just your flat then? Is there much mess? Did they ransack the place? Oh, how awful. Your lovely clothes. Did they take any of them? Yes, of course. And anyway, it must be really difficult to see exactly what's missing. Look, Christina, you're obviously really upset. I'm coming round. I'll help you tidy up. I'll be there in 15 minutes. Tape script 11.6 Hello? Rachel, it's me, Christina. Something dreadful's happened. Oh, hi, Christina. What on earth's wrong? Tell me. My flat's just been burgled. Oh, no. That's terrible. When? Well, I discovered it when I came in from work two hours ago. The door was wide open. Oh, they must have known no one was at home. What did they take? My laptop, of course, with all my work and my photos on it. Had you saved everything? Yes, fortunately. I'd put my work and most of my photos on CD. Thank goodness. What else is missing? My camera and a whole load of Ella's jewellery. And her new leather jacket. Oh, not your camera. Well, at least you still have your photos. Oh, and Ella's expensive leather jacket. Does she know? No, she doesn't. She's not back from college yet. Oh, she's going to get such a shock when she gets back. And she's got her final exam soon. I know. But at least she had her laptop with her, so they didn't get that. Yeah, that's good. I know she always takes it with her to lectures. Have you called the police? Oh, yes. They're here now. Good. Have they any idea who might have done it? Well, they say there have been quite a few burglaries in the area. And the flat above me was also done. So it wasn't just your flat, then? Is there much mess? Did they ransack the place? Oh, the mess is terrible. Whoever did it emptied out all my drawers and my clothes are all over the bedroom floor. Oh, how awful. Your lovely clothes. Did they take any of them? Oh, I don't know. I haven't checked. The police have told me not to touch anything. Yes, of course. And anyway, it must be really difficult to see exactly what's missing. Oh, it is. Oh, Rachel, it's just chaos here. <laughs> Look, Christina, you're obviously really upset. I'm coming round. I'll help you tidy up. I'll be there in 15 minutes. Oh, Rach, you're a great friend. Thanks so much. Tape script 11.7. Spoken English. What on earth has happened? Where on earth have you been? Who on earth left the window open?
Tape Script 11.8 1. I can't carry all these shopping bags. What on earth have you bought? 2. Tom's broken his arm in three places. How on earth did he do that? 3. Oh, there's someone at the door. Who on earth could it be at this time of night? 4. My aunt left all her money to a cat's home. What on earth did she do that for? 5. I can't find my car keys. Where on earth have you put them? Tape script 11.9. Grammar and pronunciation. 1. Must have. 2. Can't have. 3. Could have. 4. Might have. 5. May have. Tape script 11.10. One. It must have been stolen. Two. I can't have lost it. Three. He could have taken it. Four. I might have dropped it. Five. She may have found it. Tape script 11.11. .11. One. I can't find my ticket. You must have dropped it. Two. John didn't come to school yesterday. He must have been ill. Three. Why is Isabel late for class? She might have overslept. Four. I can't find my notebook. You must have left it at home. Five. The teacher's checking Maria's exercise. She can't have finished already. 6. Why is Carl looking so happy? He may have done well in the test. Tape script 11.12 .12. The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes Part 4 Holmes! Watson! Huh? At last! Tell me, what have you found out? Can the Greek examination take place? Absolutely. The mystery is solved. Really? But who? Which student? Dr. Watson, can you please ask Mr. Gilchrist to join us? Of course. Mr. Gilchrist? Mr. Gilchrist, can you join us, please? Oh, what is it? What's happened? Close the door, Mr. Gilchrist. Now... Sit down and tell me honestly, why did you do it? How did you do it? What? Oh, no. How did you find out? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Come, come, Mr Gilchrist. <sighs> Perhaps it's easier if I speak. You see, when I learnt that you were an athlete and a long jumper, I worked it out immediately. How? I don't understand. And let me continue. This is what must have happened. Yesterday afternoon, you, Mr Gilchrist, were returning from practising your sport. You were carrying your jumping shoes, which, as we all know, have spikes on their soles. You passed your tutor's window, and because you are over six feet tall, you could see into his room. You couldn't help but notice the examination papers on his desk. As you passed the door, you tried it. Amazingly, it opened. What? How? Yes, Bannister had forgotten to lock it. Is that not true, Bannister? Oh, dear, Mr Holmes. Uh, Mr Holmes, sir, I'm sorry, sir. Uh, Mr Holmes could be right. I was in a hurry. So, Gilchrist, you entered the room, put your shoes down on the desk, and moved to the window to copy the papers and watch for your tutor. <laughs> Am I right so far? Yes. Yes. Suddenly you heard your tutor coming in at the side door. Quickly you picked up your shoes, scratching the top of the desk with the spikes in your haste and leaving a lump of black mud. You ran into the bedroom. 
You didn't notice that another lump of mud fell to the floor from your shoes. This morning at 6am I went to the sports ground and collected a sample of mud. It was the same black mud. Brilliant, Holmes. Just brilliant. Elementary, my dear Watson. Is this all correct, Mr Gilchrist? Absolutely correct. I feel so bad, so guilty and ashamed. But can I just show you this, Mr Soames? What is it? It's a letter. I wrote it in the middle of the night. Read it, please. In it I say how sorry I am for what I did. Ah, oh, yes. And you say you're not going to take the examination? Oh, uh, and you're going to leave the university and the country? Yes, I am. I'm going to work in Africa. Gilchrist, I'm really pleased to hear that. Oh, Mr Soames, Mr Gilchrist, it's all my fault. I'm so sorry. Absolutely not your fault, Bannister. I am the guilty one. Well, Mr Soames, Mr Gilchrist, time for Watson and myself to have breakfast, I think. I hope the exams go well, Mr Soames. Good luck in Africa, Mr Gilchrist. Goodbye. Thank you, Mr Holmes. It was such a lucky chance that you were staying in town at this time. Tape script 11.13. Phrasal verbs with out and up. 1. You need to learn to relax. Why don't you take up yoga? 2. He's just come up with a brilliant plan to save the business. 3. There's no dessert until you've eaten up all your meat and vegetables. 4. Anne and Tony aren't talking to each other. They must have fallen out. They may even have broken up. 5. Did you hear the news? Three dangerous prisoners have broken out of the local prison. 6. You must learn to sort out your washing into coloureds and whites. 7. We're saving up so we can buy a house. 8. Have you found out why you didn't get the job? Tape script 11.14. One. I've just found out that I've won the lottery. Congratulations! Two. I never eat out because I can't really afford to. Me neither. Three. I don't ever fall out with my husband. What? Well, never. I can't believe that. Four. I can't work out if I feel warm or cold today. Yeah, it's one of those days. Five. I'm saving up to take my grandma on holiday. That's kind. Six. I need to sort out my life. I've got problems at work and I've got problems with my boyfriend. Oh, poor you. Come on, let's go out for a drink. Take your mind off things. Seven. I've just come up with a fantastic idea. Uh, I'll believe it when I hear it. 8. It's important to make up after an argument. Yeah, kiss and make up. Never let the sun go down on an argument. Tape script 11.15 Have you heard about Sam? No, I haven't. Well... I haven't spoken to him myself, but apparently he was caught cheating in his maths exam. No kidding. I can't believe that. Does he have a problem with maths? No. Actually, maths is his best subject. Really? So why would he cheat? He doesn't need to. Exactly. And anyway, Sam's not the type to cheat. He must be very upset. Presumably he's going to complain. Yeah, he's seeing the principal this afternoon. Obviously, he's going to deny it completely. Well, hopefully, the principal will believe him. Let me know what happens. I will. Personally, I think he'll be OK. I hope you're right. Cheers. See you later. Yeah. Fingers crossed for Sam. Bye. Tape script 11.16. 
TapeScript 11.16. Did you hear about Marcus? Mm -hmm. You know, the guy who works in my office. Well, apparently he's going to be promoted. Ooh. To be honest, I don't understand why. Personally, I think he's hopeless at his job. Mm. He never does any work. In fact, all he does all day is chat to his friends on the phone and drink coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, his desk is next to mine. Mm. Presumably, he'll move to another office now, so hopefully I won't have to work with him anymore. Mm. Ah, anyway, enough about me. How's your work going? Are you still enjoying it? TapeScript 11.17 1. Hi, you're Pete, aren't you? Actually, no, I'm not. Pete's over there talking to Robert. 2. What did you think of the film? Great, wasn't it? Personally, I thought it was rubbish. I just don't like all that blood and fighting. 3. What's the latest gossip about Clara and her boyfriend? Apparently, she's going to dump him. She's met someone else. 4. What's the weather like in spring? Generally, it's warm during the day, but you still need to wear a jumper or cardigan in the evening. 5. What time will we arrive? Hopefully in the next hour, unless there's another traffic jam. 6. I've phoned and left messages for them, but no reply. Presumably they're away on holiday. Try them on their mobile. 7. What did you do when you saw the accident? Obviously, we called 999 immediately. Then we went to see if we could do anything to help. 8. How did you feel when they offered you the job? To be honest, I was amazed. I didn't expect to get it, but of course I was delighted. It'll be a challenge. <laughs>